Krause here, and I'm ready to eat. <sighs> All right, not too much, but Fat Tuesday is a day that everyone gets to eat a lot, and then they go and have no food at all, but that's not the case here with the Great Harvest, <laughs> the Great Harvest Bread Company, who has given us a little history of the King Cake, which yes. is kind of neat. So this is pretty cool. Tell me a little bit about the King Cake and how it all got here, George. So the King Cake, famously associated with Mardi Gras, which, depending on where you are, includes things like gumbos and muffaladas or beignets, but today we're talking about king cake, kind of the centerpiece. Long, rich history, um, symbology all over it, all through it, with the three colors, the green, gold, and purple being justice, faith, and power. Um, historically, you'd hide a bean or a coin in it um, to symbolize the three wise men finding the baby Jesus. Anymore, there's the plastic babies, the astute eyed among everyone's worthy. We have a couple of babies out here. Yeah. Um, in our king cakes, we put them on the side because it's still an unknown enough around Arizona that we don't someone, want someone to chip a tooth. That's not, uh, wouldn't be fun on Fat Tuesday. No, it isn't. So again, you gotta understand is that uh, you put the baby in the king cake, which we have, here goes one of the little babies. And it's a little baby right here. Uh, I don't know if you see it. Can we get, who wants it? Who, two, there we go. All right, so that's a little baby. And we put it, look, that's a, that's a real little baby. I can't see the baby's head, sorry. Baby, all right, there we go. That's the baby. It goes in, and then isn't it kind of like whoever finds the uh, baby, whoever gets it in their in their bread, they have to plan the next year's party. Yes, the next year's party, whether it's next year, next week, next day, um, it's traditionally the responsibility of whoever finds the baby. They are then responsible for that next celebration to keep the keep the cycle going up until the end of Fat Tuesday uh, when Lent starts. Right, and and that's where you give up things. So you're saying right now. Uh, you have until today, until midnight, uh, Tuesday, to yep. eat as much as you want of bread and cookies and everything that you guys have. Bread and cookies <laughs> or sweets or whatever someone's getting up, say it's kind of that last 48 hour window to, to have those indulgences. Um, kind of that middle between your, your New Year's resolution diet and then your, your diet for Lent. So you've got that little bit of middle ground to have, yeah. have that rich, delicious food. So, and the Great Harvest Bread Company, I'll tell you, this right here, this is my weakness. You had to bring them in, didn't you? Oh, of course. The oatmeal cookies, you know that is my biggest weakness right here. Of course, yes. And, and they're not, they're, these aren't like little uh, coins or little silver dollars. These are like, these are medallions. These are huge. <laughs> like yeah. this is not just for us. This is how your cookies always look, don't you? Oh yeah. Say so it's we we believe in abundance. Say the loaves of bread are two pound loaves of bread. The cookies are ginormous. We don't want it to be one of those things where you have one and you're felt to be left lacking or wanting. <laughs> we we want it to be a satisfying experience no matter what you're having. So I like it. All right. Uh, the bread is fresh, ready to go each day, what I love, because you guys work so hard there. What is the uh, bread that everyone's uh, loving right now? Do you have any suggestions? Um, right now, so you can't go wrong with the classic honey whole wheat. Um, that one's just kind of our, it's our cornerstone for a reason. Um, right now, um, particularly with Valentine's having been yesterday and President's Day today being um, the day off and get people getting to sleep in, um, cinnamon chip. French toast bread, breakfast and bread, breakfast Ooh. for the kids. That was really good. Oh, I like that. Okay. Now, ordering the king cake. You're saying call today, get them in, because tomorrow is when you really have the party and yep. you cut into them. Tomorrow's the final hoorah. You can call the bakery if you need one today, 480-777-1141. We are taking online orders um, for tomorrow, or you can call in to pick up tomorrow. Um, curbside is available for those who don't feel safe coming into the shop. Um, we, we can get you taken care of. So yeah, and they're following all the guidelines that I like. Uh, and again, uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, but these are the best oatmeal raisin cookies right here. We so, wanted you yeah. to enjoy your Fat Tuesday. I know, oh, don't worry. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be definitely, that's a double Peloton on Wednesday, I'll tell you that much, so I love them. Uh, again, George, tell them where you guys are located. We're on the northwest corner of Warner and McClintock in Tempe, um, TempeGreatHarvest.com, TempeGHB on social media, 480-777-1141. Perfect. George, thanks for coming in. Thanks for the king cake. We're going to, you know, I, I hopefully, I who got the baby? Someone in the out last year got the baby. I think Brian, our birthday boy, got the, ba you know, that, got the baby. Was that who it was? Yeah, so I think we'll have to do it again. So.